first to know with Hub Alerts at CarneyHub.com. Follow the Carney Hub on Facebook and Twitter and stay connected with your community. To build your high-performance home, call Nags Construction, your certified green builder. Tis the season to deck the halls, and Jory and Carrie Pearson have a new home to decorate for the holidays. We have moved nine times since Chloe was born, and she's 13. So we are chronic movers. Um, really enjoyed the Miracle Hills area, so we had built out here, and then our home sold. It wasn't for sale, and it got sold. Um, and so we ended up moving into a rental for a while, while we built this one. The Pearson's new home in Kearney was move-in ready by February of this year. We took pieces of the last home that we that we really liked and intermixed it with some things that we wanted to try differently. We always pick a plan, but then we tweak it and do what we want with it. You know, space-wise, usually we'll end up taking out a bedroom, which I think a lot of people probably don't appreciate that, but we always want bigger closets and bathrooms and stuff, so. The front entrance of the home, by way of foyer, opens into a great room that features 11-foot ceilings finished with a stomp knockdown texture. Recessed lighting illuminates the primary focal point of the room, a wood-burning fireplace with a synthetic stone hearth that even Santa would find inviting. The great room, with comfortable seating for entertaining and television viewing, is central to the main floor and is surrounded by the kitchen and dining room. One thing about this kitchen is there is so much storage. We've got a lot of cabinet space, the front of the island has cabinets, and then once you see the pantry you'll see we can haven't quite filled everything yet, we will. What appears to be a tall set of cabinet doors that might otherwise provide sufficient space for a typical supply of canned goods actually conceals the entrance to a hidden pantry. People usually like this. I had a friend here one night and he was, I think, standing in the hallway and he's like, did you just go into a secret room? <laughs> I was like, yes, I did. Jory's new main floor home office is located opposite the dining room, just off the front foyer area of the home. I like having my office on the main floor. Fitted with plush Berber carpeting and bookshelves custom built by Jory, the office space appears to be straightforward and business ready, yet there is a Pearson family secret concealed in those office walls. A center section of the bookcases swing open to reveal a private passageway into the bath and shower area of the Pearson's master suite. The master suite in the northwest corner of the home has several separately defined areas. Accessible from the bath area are a separate toilet room and a 12 feet by 16 feet walk-in closet reminiscent of a big city fashion boutique that includes a washer and dryer and a Pearson signature chandelier. The lower level of the Pearson home is designed to accommodate two bedrooms and a large family room. One of the bedrooms belongs to Carrie and Jory's daughter, Chloe, who individualized her space with her choice of color palette and personalized wall decor. The Pearsons chose stained concrete flooring throughout the lower level family room, which provides areas for entertainment and relaxation. basement finished in this one. That one we didn't finish until we were on okay. the way out. We chose not to do a walkout this mm -hmm. time just to have a different feel in the basement and as well as have a more usable backyard area. The Pearsons plan to finish the back the Pearsons plan to finish the back patio with the addition of a fireplace and TV area, but that will have to wait until after the holiday decorations are packed away and springtime is back on the horizon once again. <laughs>